Greetings, Magic players, and welcome to another episode of MTG Arena with Tkush35. Today we are playing Blue Black Pirates because that's what I have, that's what I like. Well, I also have the Drake's deck, but whatever. I like this deck a lot, having a decent amount of fun with it. And uh, it's just nice to have the fun mid rangey, but yet occasionally having the explosive attacks. Um, and yeah, slight changes to the deck this evening. We're now up to four Thought Erasure main board going down, one dive down. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and keep this because it's got some good hand control against the opponent, which I think might be useful when on the draw. Obviously, I'm not going to have a way to uh, explode or anything, but if they are some sort of control deck, I should be able to hold them off. Um, yeah, so we're up to four Thought Erasure main board. Tweaked the sideboard a little bit, hopefully to help a little bit up in the control matchups. Uh, yeah, Poisoner is a way of getting some damage on the board, so I'm going to keep that. Oh, did I just add that main phase? Yeah, whoops. Did not mean to do that. I don't think it's going to matter too much in the long run, especially if this is some sort of Jeskai deck. I'm going to go ahead and get a look at their hand with Thought Erasure. Since it cannot be killed. Ah, okay. So this is something else entirely. Um, gonna go ahead and get rid of the Sunwing, since that's a flying duder that we don't quite want to have coming at us. And I'm going to bin the Drowned Catacomb, since I have some other lands already. Looking for some better threats. Um... Alternatively, a Curious Obsession strapped to a Kite Sail Freebooter would be pretty decent. But Militia Bugler could run away from us pretty quickly here. Instigator I'm not worried about. Not on its own, at least. Uh, so let's do that, and then a Freebooter. Go ahead and steal one of their big effect spells. Uh, I'm gonna go with heroic reinforcements for now. Then the next freebooter can be the um, inspired charge. As long as they don't have a shock or something in the immediate future. And then uh, the freebooter should be able to hold them off. Militia Bugler will slowly peck at us, though. So I'm going to need some sort of protection or something to get me back in the game. Again, Curious curious Obsession, I think, is going to be a big big out. Uh, Thief of Sanity, maybe. Just... Eh, well, I guess another Dire Fleet Poisoner isn't too bad either, because then we can combat trick him into... Having their bugler die. I'm gonna stay back with both of these freebooters because they're holding off the goblin instigators. For now, at least. Though I suppose it could get them for one damage in the air, at least one of them. So I'll go ahead and do that because the poisoner could. It can either trade with the bugler or it can eat up a goblin. But unless they get some sort of buff spell. I don't think they're going to be coming in with the instigators anytime soon. Vanguard's actually a problem. Because that'll be gaining them life. It's also a problem due to its menace. Um... Yeah, I think it's worth flashing in the Poisoner and eating this. Well, not eating it, but trading with it. Fathom Fleet Captain actually does not help us on this board at all. But I'm going to play him anyway. Because with a combat trick, he can do some shenanigans next turn. Um, yeah, 
I think I gotta do no attacks here. So I'm gonna let the brute come on in. Uh, all these one ones make Fathom Fleet Captain really bad. Because I don't imagine they'd block with the brute or the vanguard against the captain. So that means they just throw two tokens at it. Yeah, and the brute's just gonna get in here. No blocks. That's actually gonna be a problem. Another poisoner, my goodness. Well, I suppose I can get in with the captain, flash a poisoner to maybe make it survive. Actually, it won't, it's just gonna eat two. That's fine. We can do this. It just eats two go two goblins, but that's that's something. And then I can bring it back with Memorial to Folly. It feels fine. I guess I could save it with two flashed in poisoners. Is that worth it? Yeah, sure, why not? What else am I gonna do? Yup, and then... Second verse, same as the first. It takes It kinda takes away all my future... sneak attack abilities with that, but... I have some more guys on the field. Yikes. Yeah. And that was the spell I was hoping they wouldn't see for a while guess slightly good news if I uh, once I survive it they'll be off the top deck but their top deck's gonna be a bit more powerful than mine and here they come in with everything everything makes sense the brood I'd have to double block if I want to survive these are hasties not attacking with the vanguard I guess they're thinking about it. Thing is, I can't block with any of my freebooters. Well, I can. Ooh, yeah, I think it's actually most important to get rid of these guys and then take eight. Because I can build up my. Pirate Armada again with the captain, sort of. At least through one attack. I take a lot, yes, but their biggest guys are dead. I have another poisoner. That's pretty good. And yeah. I don't think the extra damage is worth that, so we'll go ahead and end the turn there. What do I have here? Just a bunch of poisoners, right? Yep. But their uh, their sneak attack spells are going to be pretty good. As soon as they find them off the top deck. Lightning strike. Yeah, that's a problem. Because then here comes that spell next turn. So I could bring Freebooter back at a hefty cost. Captain is just going to die again. I think I kind of have to. Just to keep myself alive. Hmm, let's opt, see if I have anything good coming. Come on, Curious Obsession. The Thief of Sanity's kinda like that, but it's gonna be a bit delayed. Now, I could attack with the Menacing Pirate. Uh, I could attack with the Fathom Fleet Captain, losing it, but gaining another Menacer. Um, attack with both, probably my best bet. 
So then they get in for some damage or kill their field. Yeah. Uh, yeah. We'll go ahead and do that. Creates another eventual blocker. Well, it creates an immediate blocker. I have the 2 2 on the field yet. Cool. So, again, I'm okay, but their top decks are pretty strong. Any kill spell gets their good combat spells back. Plus 2, plus 0, oh, and first strike. Okay, so they'll get, in it, they'll get in for three, or I lose a pirate. I guess I gotta let take the three. That puts me dangerously close to dying to... Ooh, hello. That one's pretty good. Get rid of a token. Yeah, I can get rid of a token and attack with the two menacers, leave the freebooters back still. Or actually... Don't. Yeah, I'm gonna do that. Get rid of one of their tokens. And then get in with these bad boys. Yeah, let's go for it. Go for the gold as far as that goes. I have two ground blockers. Yeah, things are okay. Their top deck's a little stronger than mine right now. Higher upswing, since I'm only at four life. Next turn's probably Thief of Sanity, depending on what I draw. Thief could maybe start getting me some good stuff from their deck. Taking away the hostage shaker or a freebooter. Yep. Because then their next turn's pretty good. They'll only have to do. Well, no, they'll end up having four attackers, so that is relevant to remember. Which means I actually want to attack with no one. Because I can go one, two, three, flash in poisoner to trick them, four. So I can get in with freebooter. Worst comes to worst, I can block with Thief of Sanity. Sanity. I can talk. Yes, we knew that was coming. Hostage Shaker gets to actually survive combat, which is nice. And then there will be lots of other trading going on. Uh, opponent might actually be... If they have a shock, I get closer to dead. It means I probably have to block with my Thief of Sanity. Pass to attackers. Alright, so let's do here and here. And trade and trade. Then they have no board, which I feel very good about. Alrighty. Thought erasure. Yeah, let's see what's in there. Probably a land. Yeah, they got me good. Uh, Fathom Fleet's good top deck. And then let's get in there. Let's see what they have on the top of their deck. Captivating crew is pretty nice. Leonin Vanguard, gaining me life. That actually might be... Hmm. Yeah, I'm gonna go that go that route for the life gain. Drop my Thief of Sanity. Have two of them. Might be in an okay spot. It's definitely a close game. Very fun. 
Nice and challenging. Enter of the Neek. That doesn't block too, too much. Means I do have to leave back Hostage Shaker, right? Definitely getting with the Flyers. They don't have to block quite yet, so... I think I'll leave Hostage Shaker back, just in case. And Act of Treason seems pretty nice. I have four mana open. I can make two extra creatures. Sure. Lifelink's especially useful. We'll go ahead and use that one. But that insulates me from a lot of their top decks. And they should just be dead here. Um, I'm just going to block with that. I'll block with this too, just in case. There's probably not much to be afraid of, I don't think. Some sort of buff spell could be in effect. Yeah, plus one, plus oh, and indestructible. Sure. Kills hostage taker. I gain a life? Yeah. I mean, even if I just blocked with Hostage Shaker, I was fine in that scenario. Uh, so let's see. Fathom Fleet Captain, not so hot. But that means I want to not decrease my threat density too much. So let's bring in the Hostage Shakers and a Price of Fame. Keeps me at 20... Is there any other trades? This one's not very good because they'll have an army of little dudes that they don't care about. Uh, I guess negates are probably pretty good rather than opts. Uh, yeah, we'll have one. Nah, I'll just have negates. Alright, fire that off. Alrighty, opponent. Let's get down to business. Um, that's way too land heavy. Definitely got a mulligan that one. That one's a little bit better. No creatures though. That seems pretty risky. With the scry, I'll give it a shot probably come to bite me in the butt because it's just counters rather than creatures well, there's a creature I suppose I kind of got to keep it uh, but depending on whether they play a creature or not here I could thought erasure two two twos huh oh curious obsession I wish you were a flyer. Uh, so I could get him the 1-1. One, one. I could Thought Erasure here. I don't think I need to Thought Erasure yet. Well, no. I'd rather get it now. Because the 2 damage isn't that bad. Uh, make a stand or... The Cavalry Master. I guess the Make a Stand is a little bit worse. Moment of Craving is pretty good. Keep that on top. Uh, yeah, they play the cavalry. They hit for four instead of two. So that would have made the poisoner not too much wor better. Because I'd probably still not block the 3 1. Uh, does that mean I'm not playing? Yeah, it means I'm not playing anything again. Hmm. Now the moment of craving can basically nullify this attack and make them lose the drill master. Ooh. Might have to kill the vanguard instead. Ugh. Hmm. I don't know how much 
much I care about them gaining life. I can wait on that one. I can do the poisoner to gobble up a goblin. And then the moment of craving I can use on the Leonin Vanguard next turn. Uh, that's actually pretty good. I think I need to try to get in with the Poisoner. With this Curious Obsession to get some card draw on. Because I doubt they're going to block with the Vanguard. And if they do, they're going behind. In that scenario. Another negates all right, especially if they're thinking about doing some combat tricks at this point. Like that one. And yes, they'll get in for four, but with the moment of craving, especially, I think I'm sitting okay. So you have to keep attacking, otherwise I'll lose the curious, curious obsession. Slightly worried about whatever's left in their hand. Ooh, I take two damage if I play this watery grave out, so... I'm gonna have to enter, play tapped, and thought erasure is going to have to not happen. I think it's still the vanguard that I kill with the moment because it's gaining him life yeah and then I still have negate up if they have another combat trick which they apparently don't cool or at least not yet be kind of a waste on two creatures in my opinion I definitely need another creature for a blocker next turn, though. Oh, you know what? I should have blocked the regular instigator. Oh, man. Uh, yeah. I'm gonna Thought Erasure. It's probably a land, but I need to scry. Oh, no. That's something actually useful. Um. Ugh, I do not need another Curious Obsession. I need a creature. I need a blocker. There's gonna have to be a point pretty soon here where I... D <laughs> where I don't attack, which is gonna hurt. But it needs to happen. Because I'm gonna die. I just need a creature deck. All of my control spells are nice, but I need some blockers. Opponent's probably miffed in all the control spells I've had. Oh my gosh. Alright, one more. If I don't get a creature... Alright, there we go. Okay, so now I can keep attacking still. Because he can block... Probably has to block the drill master. Then I take one, go to three, which means I'm dead to lightning strike, which happens. But I can counter it this turn at least. Siren Storm Tamer is pretty good. really want another island, but it helps me live. The two Lookouts Dispersals can insulate me from crazy combat tricks for a little while. Will I block your instigator with my Siren Storm Tamer? You betcha. Alright, what 
you got. I will definitely counter that. Dive down's pretty nice, but again, I would probably prefer a creature. Because at this point, I don't know, Lightning Strike, they can't quite cast through. Do I have to counter the Instigator? I think I do, which is kind of nasty. Now I really need a creature. That is a creature. It'll do. Oh my goodness gracious. Yeah, I just need... I just need a guy. To prevent some sort of super crazy shenanigans. Alright. Cool. Did it. Definitely would have liked, you know, that to be a little less close for the second match, but uh, that was fun. It's been a while since I played against red-white aggro. So, thanks for watching, and I'll catch you next time.